Hey guys, I'm finally back with a new DIY. I'm super excited for these ones. Today we are going to take these meals. These are from Forever 21. I saw them in the store and I was like, oh my goodness, these are perfect to DIY. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some pearls, some stars, some gems on the front of them to make them kind of just pop a little bit. They're really cute by themselves, but I think adding the gems and stuff will make them more fun and more unique. Um, I don't know who I was inspired by for these ones. I think I just kind of thought of the concept on my own that these would be a cool idea. I think Gucci maybe had a pair similar. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you how I create these shoes. Don't forget to use the hashtag Miss Anosha DIY if you try any of these DIYs. I'm going to walk you through how I do this. It's going to be super easy and simple. So let's get started. <laughs> So all you're going to need for this DIY are a pair of shoes, a glue pad, glue, I'm going to use the Quick Hold E6000. If you don't use the Quick Hold and you use regular E6000, the gems and stuff will slide a little bit because it doesn't hold quickly. So I like to use the Quick Hold on projects like this so that the gems uh, kind of stay in place. You'll have a little wiggle room with moving them around, but for the most part, once they're on, they're on. So just kind of, you kind of have to be a little more decisive when you're using this glue. Um, and then you're going to need some pearls, some rhinestones, some stars, like whatever you want to put on the front. It doesn't have to be what I put, um, but that's what I'm choosing to use. And then I'm going to use some toothpicks because it's just easier to pick up the gems and everything with toothpicks as opposed to like tweezers because they're really, really tiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first shoe and kind of create my own pattern. And then on the next shoe, I will just copy what I did on the first shoe. So I'm gonna start with the placing the stars on the shoe. And then from there, I'm gonna add the pearls and the rhinestones around that. So now what I'm gonna start with is just taking the glue and then putting it on the star. So the toothpick makes it, the toothpick makes it easier because it is a smaller surface area. And then I'm just going to place it on the shoe, just like so. So I'm using random placement, like I said, so I'm just gonna be placing the stars randomly in a pattern that I think is pretty. and then I'm going to randomly place some pearls and some rhinestones. I didn't know I was gonna put this many stars, I just really like how it looked. So I'm going to keep the pearls and the rhinestones minimal. I'm not gonna to go too, too crazy because I don't really have that much room on the shoe left. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm gonna love this, so I need to make this right now. And that's kind of I thought about these shoes. I was like, I just saw it, and I was like, I gotta make these shoes. So I already love how it looks. It's so cute. It's so so cute. I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other shoe, and then I'll be right back. And when you're done, they look like this. I love how they turned out. They are so fun. I can't wait to wear these like every day. Maybe not every day, but you know, I really, really love how they turned out. If you decide to make these shoes, be sure to hashtag Miss Anosha DIY so I can see your creations. I love seeing everything that you guys create. So make sure to hashtag and then I will feature you on my stories because I want to see what you're creating out there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.